Welcome to Happiest Places Home, the interior design channel. Today, we're taking a look at dupes for Pottery Barn and we're exploring this particular room. If you'll remember in one of my past videos, we voted between three rooms that you wanted me to do dupes for. And this was number one in that contest. And a lot of you voted for this one. Now you'll notice we did this blue room first and now we're doing this one. And then I still have one more to do that was requested. We're going to take a look at Pottery Barn's beautiful decor pieces, the textiles, uh, the lighting, and the furniture, of course. So I'm really excited to jump in. And the first item that I worked on was the coffee table. And you may remember this coffee table from another video. It was a different color in that video, it was the lighter wood. But in this room, they have the darker wood and it, this particular model is called charcoal. It looks kind of brown to me. I, it might be sort of that vibe at Ikea where there's a black brown situation. It kind of looks like that, do you agree? I, you can't answer me right now, but maybe in the comments. Anyway, I found a great dupe for this, didn't I? $259.99 for this beautiful piece from Home Depot. This is the Osmond and it's in gray. There are other colors, which I will show you here. We have a lot of different fun things coming up in this video, by the way. So take a look at the setup that I have. So on one side, we have the Pottery Barn and the other, we have the dupe. And on the Pottery Barn side, there's one paint color that I want to showcase to you. And then on the right, there's another. I love both of these, and I'm gonna let you know what the names of them are and where you can find them. Let's go into the lighting. So I feel like that chandelier really does stand out in this room. It's the uh, Camden Abaca pendant lamp. So 30 inches wide, but I found a really fun dupe at Ikea. This is brand new and it's just a pendant lamp shade, uh, but it's only $27.99. And it looks a little bit, you know, lopsided and less quality and that's their photo of it. But if you take a look at it in the store and you think that it's for you, I do think that's a pretty good bargain to get this look that everybody loves right now. And also notice that I showed you that you can buy a pendant light itself for $18. There are a couple of different choices. So putting those together, it's such a bargain compared to the Pottery Barn. But if you want that look, obviously, you're going to have to spend the budget. The next one is our Birch Lane Jola 3 Light. It's 23 inches wide and look at that price compared to the Pottery Barn. Um, I do think that this looks like a high quality piece and I like the idea that you can barely see the lights through it, they'll just shine down. And I think that's, that's really a good idea in the kitchen. You don't wanna be staring at you know, a light right through the lampshade. We'll stick with the lighting for the moment. So we've got the Pottery Barn Maddox lamp. I think what they call these is vase lamps now, um, but it's made of terracotta and then it's got some uh, finish on it that makes it very matte. Well, I found this light at At Home and although it does have a sheen to it, I think that it looks very similar and I, I prefer this one. My dupe is $59 and you would have to buy a lampshade as you noticed. And I have two choices there for you. Of course, there's the white drum lampshade for $12.99, and it looks so much like the Pottery Barn, but it's a little slimmer, which I think is a little more in fashion at this point. But the one that's more in fashion is this linen lampshade for $12.99. And it's the shape of it that is making it a little more modern than the other. But I also feel that if you're going for this soft blue and almost a summery coastal feel, then the linen looks great with the blue because it's almost like a beach but they sell that same uh, lampshade in white on the coffee table in this design there is this marble bowl from pottery barn and it is on clearance right now so it's actually a decent deal for the marble but i do have two wonderful dupes for you 
the Amazon Mariposa Alabaster Stone Oval Bowl. So alabaster is just the thing right now. So this would be a good replacement for that bowl in general. But look at the price and compare that. It's just really, really a fantastic dupe. And I prefer it, to be honest. If you saw my last video, you know that sometimes I can get practical with decor. And this is a food service bowl. It's something meant to be on the table for a meal and it would probably be like a vegetable dish, um, maybe a salad. So this oval bowl is $31.50 and it's a hand thrown piece of pottery. And that's actually quite in right now. Anything with this little brownish edge is super in because it, it looks like the 70s. But um, this would be a little more useful because you can actually take it somewhere else and use it. And I love to have things that are decor pieces in my house that can be transformed into something else and useful. These are the lovely pillar holders in our design and they're made of terracotta. So nice and heavy, not, not quite so unbreakable, but they're done in a finish, which is really pretty. So I found two different dupes for this. The first one looks a lot more like it in shape and in texture, but it's smaller. So this one's from Michael's, it's $11.99. But my other is from World Market and it's $27.98 for the pair. I honestly have been waiting for a chance to work World Market into one of my videos. Nothing on my videos is sponsored, okay? Uh, but my husband and I love going to World Market when we're in Florida. There is a location near Disney World and they have the coolest stuff, but I always say it's almost like the perfect store because it has furniture, uh, wine, <laughs> housewares, really cool coffees, and then different snacks from different countries. Um, it just kind of has so many things to look at and you could spend a long time there. Not that we do, because even though my husband's interested, he likes to keep a quick pace when he's in a store on the Pottery Barn tapers, they have their premium flickering candles. They actually are made of wax, but there's this little mechanism at the top that looks like a glowing flame. And sometimes it looks realistic, sometimes it doesn't. I was amazed by them the first time that I saw them in a store. But here is my dupe, the Belk Mikasa Flickering Candle. So Mikasa is a good brand. And look at this price compared to the Pottery Barn. So that's pretty impressive. And Belk just, you know, every now and then has a fantastic deal on something very particular. And then they always have have coupon codes and in this case that's how we got that price. The next thing that we have is Pottery Barn's uh, candle. This is a very large candle and it's from a collection of scents. It's got sea salt and something or other else but anyway it's a really cool package. It, it matches the vase uh, that we'll look at in a bit but anyway I found a dupe for this and you may be familiar with this from my last video. This is another candle from our house. It's their Elements collection. And this one combines bourbon infused woods gleaming with spruce and fruity musk amid sweet violet, sheer orris and tender tonka bean. Well, that's an interesting combination, but I think we're going more for looks in this and that's not necessarily the only way to buy a candle, but I'm looking for dupes and this looks so similar, and it looks kind of more uh, fancy to me. So the next piece we're looking at is the vase that's on the mantle. By the way, sometimes I say vase, sometimes I say vase. I just never know what's going to happen. I'm a little unpredictable. But anyway, this vase has a lot of texture on it. I found a really cool dupe for this, and it's more about the texture and the color. So this is from Bed Bath & Beyond. It's the Rustic Reach vase, and it's $26.67. That's such a great price compared to the Pottery Barn. But if you really want that interesting, super unusual, it almost looks hand-thrown look of that vase, then you might want to spend the extra money at Pottery Barn. 
In my search for a dupe for this item, I found a vase that I thought you might be interested in. So it's not a dupe for the Pottery Barn one. This one just, I thought was a fantastic deal. It's very tall and it's only $14 at Kirkland's. It's called the Denim Blue Vase. And that kind of goes along with the theme of a lot of things that are in style for a casual home lately. But I thought this was really a pretty color and just such a bargain for $14. So I thought I would share it. I just love the swivel chairs in this design. So they come in so handy in interior design because you can uh, face them in the direction of the sofa, have a conversation there, or cozy up to the fire. I just think that's such a wonderful addition and what is a Pottery Barn dupe video lately without a swivel chair? They're just so popular right now. So let me introduce you to my dupe. It's the Home Depot Nyla for $232. Compare that to the $1,100. Unbelievable. On the mantle, we have Pottery Barn's rope object. It's made of cast bronze and it's kind of pricey, but not necessarily, it's on clearance right now. I don't love it, but I wanted something with similar shapes and a similar height. And I found this soapstone love knot. So I owned one of these before I had it in my office and everyone marveled at it and asked me about it. And by the way, I got it at World Market and it was made in Africa. African soapstone is typically what these love knots are made of. Whether this one was made there or not, I don't know, but the price is fantastic compared to Pottery Barn's object made of cast bronze. Everywhere you looked probably you saw one of these Pottery Barn colossal hand knit throws last time it was cold and it's a cable knit and it's very thick and supposed to be very warm. Now I found a dupe for it at Target. It's by Becky Cameron and these are hand knit. It didn't, they didn't have a dark blue, but they have this light blue, which as we know, um, in recent videos is very in style. And then they do have a beautiful white color. But I wanted to show you some of their promotional video that I found because you can see from these videos how extremely thick they are when you see them on people, not necessarily the chair. So anyway, I thought that was great and it's a great price. I'm really excited about the next one though. I have something different. It comes in a bright white and a dark navy, but the difference is this isn't a hand knit situation. It's a faux fur that is braided and then it has flannel on the back. I just feel like this would be extremely, extremely warm. My sister-in-law bought something for my husband and I to wear outside when we're kind of sitting outside having coffee and looking at the water and it's so warm and it looks very similar to this. Anyway, so this is kind of my favorite of the two dupes, but I think they're both very excellent dupes. This very popular lumbar pillow from Pottery Barn is on clearance at the moment because, you know, the colder weather is coming, but I did find a dupe for it for quite a bit less and this one is from Amazon. It looks very similar, but I actually like my choice better and I love the tassels on it. So I hope you do too. I found a fabulous dupe for this Pottery Barn tasseled pillow with a print. It looks a lot like other prints that I had in other videos, but it's different with the tassels on the side. And at the moment, this is available and it's such a fantastic price, isn't it? $19.99 for the pillow cover and the pillow, as they always do at Marshalls. This is a fantastic deal. I found this dupe at Walmart for the Pottery Barn rug. So the Pottery Barn is in the 1200s and we have a $393 rug that is also hand spun jute. So what a fabulous find and I think that it looks so similar that why not spend less? Next item is the Pottery Barn Beachcomber Basket in extra large. I'm showing it here in a different room because in the room that we're trying to find dupes for, it's a very small detail over onto the side, but it's holding firewood. I think that's really pretty. Our dupe for the Beachcomber is this Balm Brothers Basket from Belk. I love this shape and I feel like it's very unexpected because so many other baskets look exactly like the Pottery Barn one, but it still has the handles. It looks extremely sturdy and it's extra large. 
and the price obviously is so much better. This gorgeous drink table is not available at Pottery Barn at the moment. They have many other selections and most of them are in the $200 to $300 range. Well, I found a terrific replacement for that and it's at Value City Furniture. It's $160. So it's probably a little wider than the Pottery Barn one in the photo, but it is made of a precious stone. And I think that it's really interesting. It's probably more of an interesting piece than the one that's in the original design. The Pottery Barn sofa is the Jake model, and there really isn't anything like it if you want to get this particular chambre color. But I found dupes for it in the style. It just wouldn't be the same color. And the first one is from At Home, and it's made by Ty Pennington. His Knox sofa is only $599.99. I like how they put the 99 cents on there like a car dealership. Anyway, um, this looks so identical. It's just that you wouldn't have that Robin's egg blue slash what we call light denim color. I have another dupe for you as well in the same colorway, but then I do have a blue one. This is the Jennifer Taylor Knox sofa. So whether they're made by the same maker, I don't know. I don't know why the name is the same. This one's a little bit longer and it's in the 1100s. Well, I think this is a very pretty piece, but if you want the blue, and I've shown this one before, you might go to Macy's for the Radley sofa. I don't think it looks as streamlined or as stylish perhaps as our original Pottery Barn uh, sofa, but I do think it's a good option if it's on sale and you definitely want that robin's egg blue color. But if you don't, I think the other two dupes are preferable if you want this style with the wood on the bottom. Let's see how we did. The total dollars for this Pottery Barn living room is $18,677. The dupe total is an unbelievable $2,300. We saved $16,374 on this room. I think that's incredible. I think it's the most savings I've had so far in a dupe video, and I hope you're really impressed with it. Now I'm showing you the opposite wall, which you haven't seen that frequently in this video. And what I've done is something a little different. I put my own photographs in this uh, scenario. So these are photographs that you can buy from a certain website. I'll share that in a minute. And then I have different ones from uh, a fountain at Namor Estate, and then some trees that were in a park. And these are four photos of the same body of water, which is the Delaware River. And each of them are side by side with the same area of the river, just next to each other, and I split them in half. And I thought they would look in a foursome or a twosome. So um, I'll share in the links the site to buy these because with my last video, people just went crazy over my photographs and were asking where they could get them and they couldn't until now. I figured it out because of all of the requests. So take a look at that if you don't mind, I would really appreciate it. But now let's get into the paint colors. The paint behind these photos is navel from Sherwin-Williams and that's a Pottery Barn color. But let me show you what we were working with for most of the video. I chose Greenfield Pumpkin and Black Raspberry from Benjamin Moore for the background of this video. I really love these paint colors. I know they look quite autumnal, but I don't think that matters. By the way, there was an article that came out uh, that my husband showed me that was the perfect paint colors for fall. And I thought, no one paints their walls for a season, so that's kind of ridiculous. But if you are an autumnal person, you love these sort of colors like I do, uh, these would be pretty all year round. So I just thought it would be cute to feature them. And one of my uh, viewers did say, could you talk more about paints in these particular videos? Because I have a lot of videos that deal with just paint. So I'm showing you different scenes from those two colors. I think they're so lovely. And now I'd like to show you one more that I just love so much. 
Let's take a look at dark basalt. So if your room has a ton of light, then this might be a preferable option than the black raspberry. I love both colors, but I just wanted to show you this one too. If you liked what you saw in this video, don't forget there are links to the dupes and the Pottery Barn originals in the description box. Thank you for watching Happiest Places Home, the interior design channel. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, I would love it if you would. And if you are subscribed, make sure you hit the notification button so you see as soon as the new videos come out.